I'm thinking today is the perfect day to give my new ponytail holders a whirl. What do you think? That's a little better. Hey guys, am I doing better? Yeah? Yeah, boo? Ooh, gotta get my lunch ready. So I have finished my first book for Buzzwordathon. And my one, two, three, four, fifth book for nonfiction November and six, seventh book for November at large. And now I need to pick my next Buzzwordathon read. And yes, I think, I think, oopsie. Got towers everywhere, guys. <laughs> I think that I need two hands for this. Okay, A Honey Bee Heart has five openings by Helen Jukes. Pretty, pretty. Okay, this is strange. My shopping cart has moved. I wonder how that happened. Huh. Looks like we're in for a super sunny day today. I think it's a good thing. Wow. Hey, it's Doris with Aldi Books. Welcome to day three of my Buzzwordathon. It is going really well. I'm following Kayla from Books and Lala. Her format of focusing on one book at a time, mostly, and um, trying to finish one every two days and get to three or four by the end of the readathon. So I finished book one yesterday. That was the $80 champion, something like that. I don't know, the horse book. And it, it was a good pick. It was um, interesting and engaging and also easy in that it was pretty easy reading and also smooth reading. Like she did a good job of building tension uh, here and there, but you were never stressed out about it because like the title gave, gave it away <laughs> that it was a happy ending, you know? A bit of a Cinderella story for horses. So the book today, um, A Honey Bee Heart, has five openings. I have high hopes for getting through this one fairly quickly. Um, I will try to be sure and read at lunch and keep you posted on how fast I think this one's gonna go. But I collect bee books in case you didn't know that. Um, I did fall asleep last night, just 10 pages in. Um, I would say that's no reflection of the book because I fall asleep easily at night, but the book is a little bit dense. So there's that. Um, and today, um, my second graders are on a field trip. So I have a bonus hour to try to get ahead with my planning and you know, not feel compelled to do anything during lunch. So hopefully I'll be able to read a lot during lunch. And then um, we have gym today, so there's that. But other than that, let's buzz along. Oh, I just thought of that. This is the perfect book for this readathon. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get to the high school. Poor me, look. Do you see? This is proof that I'm allergic to winter. Okay, I'm at the high school now. Oh, there it is. Uh, just want to pop in and tell you about the other book that I'm reading right now because, you know, you guys knew I wasn't reading one book at a time, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm listening to Get a Life, Chloe Brown um, on audio in the car, commuting, and this morning it was the um, email exchange chapter so adorable so adorable just wanted to tell you it was so adorable light which puts out our eyes is darkness to us only that day dawns to which we are awake there is more day to dawn the sun is but a morning star hey so we got a little lunch check-in with a honeybee heart and this is what i would characterize as my idea of a three-star book. It's not bad. Um, 
and it's very informative, but it's got a flaw, and the flaw is, I really hate this word, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. This is a book that I would characterize as, your panty lines are showing, <laughs> sorry guys, but yes. She has, I guess it's supposed to be a memoir, but sorry for the lights too, you know, technology. Um, the sensor is like not where I move. Anyway, um, she's taken all of her cool B facts and all of the current issues surrounding bees and written them up in an outline and then created this memoir, but it's, it's really just a fictionalized account of her life, sort of like the, the basic structure is there, but she's created um, details to suit her framework. So she's taken this outline of cool facts and hard hitting issues surrounding bees and created this memoir around it. And you can see her foundational structure. It's really, really apparent. And I don't like that. Um, so, I mean, so I personally don't like it. I am fairly well read in the bee realm. Um, I mean, I'm not a professional by any means, but all of the facts that she's brought up in here, I was already aware of. So that's why it's so glaring to me what she's done. Um, she has some cool details, like info bits, but anyway. So it's fine, I like it. Um, and it might be, you know, a good book for people wanting to learn more about bees in um, a non-threatening, more narrative fashion. And it is a really gorgeous book. Um, but you know. It's a fast read. I want to show you the naked hardback. It's a it's a fast read. I've already finished uh, 50 pages over um, my lunch break while eating my lunch. So um, I'm going to set a goal of trying to get at least 100 pages read. It's a 200 page, 280 page book. So I think I may be able to finish it today. Yeah. Keep you posted. Okay, updates to the room decor. I think that shelf is new. I found it across the way. And the little box on top the librarian gave me. And I got a Hermione Granger poster. Um, we're divided into team houses and my house is Ubuntu. Thank you, Book Depository. Um, and this is a really old newspaper clip from, you know, back when I taught before. I mean, I'm always taught, but you know, I think that was from when I taught middle school. And then um, the nurse didn't want that anymore. And you know, I'm blind. So, I mean, I'm not, but I can't see the biggie without my glasses. Um, and then I had those when I taught school in Guatemala, they were on a calendar. So it's nice to have those unpacked again. Um, the guidance counselor brought me those from a conference she went to. And I think that's it for now. Look at that, babe. Yellow tonight. Well, I made it. It's page 95, almost. Now we're going to go to the gym. Books and voila. Drop the new videos. It's been time for the gym. She just serendipitously ran into a fellow beekeeper with a bee stung lip in the vegetable aisle. And they start chatting about monoculture and habitat fragmentation while filling their buggies with tomatoes and courgettes. Is that how you say that word? Zucchinis? Anyway. I'm just over here shaking my head. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do a little catching up before I have to head to work. So I actually did finish this one last night. I had to do some power skimming at the end. It wasn't my favorite 
but they can't all be my favorite. So on to the next buzzwordathon read. Wow. This is day four and I'm picking up book three. Oh, I should have put the nonfiction on the top of the stack since that is my priority. What was I thinking? Oh, of course it's the one on the bottom. Ugh. Going to delve into the first signs because cardinal numbers are acceptable. Unlocking the Mysteries of the World's Oldest Symbols by Genevieve Von Petzinger. Do not even read in privacy in the kitchen. I don't get it. I just want to finish this chapter before I go to school. Boo. Tiny baby. So tiny. So passes. So tiny. So passes. Hey, so daily check-in plans for the day. Today is our um, team meeting for the ESL department. So yes, <laughs> no kids, but lots of sitting and listening and um, hopefully learning some good things about a new program we're using. I, I'm actually excited about that. And I downloaded my new book. I found the ebook version. So hoping to um, read a few pages on our breaks, you know, cause sometimes it's awkward to pull out your book and read in front of other people when, you know, you might should be socializing, but people don't seem to mind you glancing at your phone. <laughs> so there's that. And yeah, nothing after school today, hooray. Although I do need to talk myself into doing a little mowing because it's going to be 60, I think. And if I don't go ahead and do that last mow of the year, I'm going to have to pay the neighbor's son to do it. Anyway, I got to run so I can get a good chair in the back of the room. What do you think, guys? Should we let the Siamese out? You want to come out, boo baby? Yeah. Woo, fresh. Hey, guys. Made it through another day of work. Just one more left until Thanksgiving. I am so excited <laughs> until Thanksgiving break anyway. So I did get 36 pages read in this book, The First Signs, um, on my little breaks. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's um, exactly what that other book was not, that B book. This one is just, a very simple narrative telling us about um, this woman, Genevieve von Petzinger, her um, studies and how she came upon what she wanted to research, which is um, cave markings, geometric cave markings uh, in Europe. And she is studying them to determine um, when humans kind of became the people that we are today. So she's studying these markings that are like between 10,000 and I don't know, 40 or 50,000 years ago. Um, and it's just really interesting. It's, it's scientific, but written in enough lay, layman's terms to be entirely readable and engaging. And it's quite a fascinating topic. So really going to enjoy this one. I have 230 pages left, so I don't know that it's going to happen this evening, but maybe because it's only 60 degrees right now, which if it were sunny, that might feel okay, but it's, you know, dark Ugh. and a little bit blustery. And, um, I think we only have like 30 more minutes of daylight. So I'm just going to go inside and get cozy and maybe I can mow it on Monday. Procrastination. Okay. So I'm cooking for the first time in, I don't know, a week or two. <laughs> True story. I have only cooked twice this month. I've had extenuating circumstances, legitimate ones, but still, 
quite an impressive track record. So I am making beef stew and tortilla soup for the weekend. And you know, I got a lot of carrots to cut up here. Oh, this is my, my old hickory. My dad is a firm believer in this knife. So he made sure I had a pair for my kitchen. I'm much appreciative. It's one of my treasures. Anyway, what is your trick for beef stew? Mine is to boil the potatoes and carrots before putting them in the crock pot. Also, I am a firm believer in Lipton's golden onion soup mix and a can of creamed corn to thicken it up a little bit. So yeah, I think that's all I have to tell you right now. So be back for assembly. I think all these tomatoes need to go in the beef stew. That'll spice it up. And with the tomatoes. <laughs> okay. Made it to page 98, which is farther than it looks because there's a lot of notes in the back. But I think that's all I got in me tonight, boo. Yeah, I had a little insomnia last night, so. Catch you on the flip side. It's raining. The hair's always the first to know. This rain cramping your style, guy. raining out this door too. For real. Guy. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Keep making all these videos. I need to put <laughs> all these books away. The weekend's coming, right? That's That's what that's for. What a day. Vacation. So obviously the elementary kids are going to be wild. Luckily it's Chromebook day. So we're going to get our little bits of lesson done and then work on smart ants and reading A to Z. Uh, at the high school, we're having coffee house, which is their yearly um, open mic day where all of the English classes get to share some of the poems and short stories that they've been writing and the band and choir might perform some and yeah the rest of the school can just come and go as the teachers um, allow and it's really nice so my class obviously is not meeting so yeah extra free time um, hoping to or planning <laughs> to get my lesson plans started for the week after the break and my data folders caught up but other than that yay downhill slide um yeah and I want to get my comments from YouTube and my book that I'm currently reading my buzzy book I've got 150 pages left in the first signs and I'd like to finish that before dark so yeah those are our plans happy Friday Good advice. This is the student bulletin board. And over here, do you recognize this young reader?
my kid told me earlier this week that the mullet was making a comeback. He even quoted the infamous business in the front, party in the back. I thought he was joking. Today, at the coffee house at the high school, I saw two. Oh, I kid you not. And they've taken it up a notch. It's not just the mullet, it's a faux hawk mullet. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to take this opportunity to cheat on my no spend November. Um, I forgot to get the V8 juice for my beef stew and tortilla soup. Another secret ingredient for both. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go buy some and cheat and get myself some gluten-free, no-bake, oatmeal, chocolate drop cookies. Happy Thanksgiving to me. Do 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 Need it? My cookies aren't here. I'm so sad. It's not the same. Bird. Let's celebrate. Oh my goodness, you guys. School it out at 3.15. And I was in the middle of leaving comments and... It's four o'clock and I'm just now leaving. The compulsive gene kicked in hard. <sighs> Can you believe that? I mean, it's Thanksgiving break and I stayed at school for 45 extra minutes. What is that? But you know it. I am done with comments all the way up to the one, the video that I just posted. I'm so proud. Anyway. Let's go home. I'm back in the car. I forgot, I told the kid we go to the gym after school. I'm having a delayed sense of gratification with my Freedom Friday. Shh. Ryan, like seriously, the whole way home, all I could think about was putting on my pajamas and celebrating freedom. Oh, the sigh. Home again, home again, diggity dig. Ooh, it smells good in here. Wow, I did good. I mean, look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't, you really can't. You can't do a thing in this house without feline supervision. Here comes the other one. Here she comes. Look at that tail going, man. What is he doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. Oh, get her. I feel like I'm running the last leg of the booktube triple crown. So, I got caught up on all my comments this afternoon. And when I finally got home for good and in my pajamas... I watched a little booktube and I'm at a new November low of 49 on my watch later list. And I was super tempted to just continue watching until I faded into oblivion. <laughs> but I do still want to read. My nerdy little heart is loving this book. So, enjoying it a great deal. Uh, it's just a real clean narrative and a topic that I know enough about it that it's easy to read, but it's uh, detailed enough that it's intriguing. So, yes, I am exactly, exactly halfway. Uh, page 134, I have 134 pages to go. It's 8 o'clock. Can I finish? Stay tuned. 80 pages left, but I just can't make it tonight.